people's eyes. Right? Read on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. That's right. So you read in Genesis, he said, his eyes should be red with wine. So when the old black people get, they drink, the eyes get red. He wasn't no drunk. But he drank wine and his eyes were red. And he's also very mad. Very mad. What's going on to against his people, his chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel, whom you are, Israel. Read on. And his arms and his feet. So John Revelation, look at his arms and feet, which is the same color as your whole body, rest of your body, read. Like in color. Like in color, color is in the Bible. So you say it don't matter, don't matter what color it is. Yes, it does matter because it says like in color to what? To polish grass. Grass is the derivative of a brown, and we know that brown looked like as if it burned in a furnace. Right? So our power, Hamashi Gabashai, who falsely called Jesus Christ, he was a very dark-skinned man with woolly, woolly hair. The nappy hair. Nappy makes me happy. That's the royal hair. You know, there's nothing wrong with other textures of hair. There's nothing wrong with that. But as far as our Lord and Savior, we're just saying that, showing description, how his hair looked, and they lied and said it looked like another textured hair, another color. Everything different. Three strikes. This C.J. Bergeron don't have uh, woolly hair. It's not white instead of gray hair. His skin is not dark. So the three strikes are out. So we bring forth the truth. We're not here to offend anyone, but we're here to speak the truth according to the Bible, according to the Most High's thoughts. Again, we bowed down to this picture for 400 years, this lie. Now we bring forth the truth. Now you call us racist, mad at us. You should be elated that the most famous person in the world looks like you and came from you. You should be happy, not sad. All right, because this same power is going to come and deliver you out of this captivity. Right? That's right. So we give you a description of our power. All right. Just give me Daniel 7 and 9. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Mama. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. This is my Shigel Shai, read. Whose garment was white as snow. Pure righteousness and power. Go ahead. And the hair of his head like pure wool. The head of his hair like the pure wool. Now we're doing a profile according to the Bible with our power, Hamashi Gabashai, who falsely called Jesus Christ, what he looked like, the true uh, uh, image, what he looks like. Not this fake image here, Caesar Bourget, the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome, that was painted in 1492 AD by Michael Angelo and Leonardo da Vinci during the Renaissance period, and then changed his name, put a name on it in 1630 as the letter J, which is the last letter of the English alphabet to be administered throughout the world, J. And the, pre the correct way to pronounce J is Ha, not Ja. Ja is G. If you want to pronounce a G, um, Jesus, it will be G. G-E-S-U-S, -E not J. It's Hey, Hey Zeus, Hail Zeus. Zeus is a Greek god. Hail means bow down to Zeus, this image here. And that's what we've been doing for over 400 years. And the most I say, give me Genesis, a second, Exodus 20 and 3 or 4. Go to Exodus 3 and 4. So now we know that this image, Caesar Bozier, a second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome, his name is Jesus. The pronounced way of spelling is hey, pronounce it is hey, not J. If you want G, it's G U G E S U S, Jesus. But they spell it J, which is incorrect. You ask any Spanish or Latin person how to pronounce 
J-U-J-E-S-U-S is Ha. Hey Zeus, hail, which means bow down. Zeus is a Greek god. And let's see what Mosai say about worshiping idols. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other idols before me. Thou shalt have no other idols before me. Hail Zeus. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Any graven image. Go ahead. Or any likeness of anything. Anything. Go ahead. That is in heaven above. This, he, they say he came from heaven. Read. Or that is in the earth. It's been, it's been spreading around the earth. This image has been spread around the earth. Read. Or that is in the water under the earth. Okay, Neptune. They have, they, you know, the Greeks have with Neptune in the water. The Neptune and mermaids. Read. Thou shalt not bow down to them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Uh huh. Read. Nor serve them. Thou shalt not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them. Hail Zeus. Hell means to bow down. Zeus is a Greek god or idol. Thou shalt not. We've been bowed down to this for over 400 years. Said, so don't do it. Now that we come to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High, we are to denounce this and do not bow down to it. When you pray, you're not supposed to have any image in your head. It took me a long time to get this image out of my head. But you're supposed to pray to the Most High. Your thoughts are supposed to be clear and focus on what you're praying about, not have an image in your head. That's how you pray. No images in your head. But pray to the Most High because He's a spirit. He's a spirit. <clears throat> he's a spirit. So you're not supposed to bow down to them. All right. So let's see. <clears throat> What the most high look like. Give me John 1 and 18. First John 1 and 18. John chapter 1, verse 18. No man has seen the most high at any time. That's right, the most high. I mean, no one has seen the most high at any time. Read. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of in the bosom of the Father. That's right. So the only person who's seen the Most High is the Master Yahweh Shai, right? So no man has seen the Most High any time. People say, "Oh, I saw God and I spoke with God and all this stuff." All right. Now let's see what the Most let's see what the Most High looked like first. I mean, John fourteen and eight. John fourteen and verse eight. John chapter 14 verse 8 Fed up said unto him Read Hamashiach show us the father show us the father what? and it suffices what? us what? what what you can check what read Hamashiach, Hamashiach said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. That's right. So you've seen him, you've seen the Father. We gave you the description of Hamashiach, Hamashiach. Give me Daniel 7 and 8. 18. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Shall take the kingdom. Read. And possess the kingdom forever. Even forever and ever. That's right. The saints of the Most High is going to take this kingdom. America is done. And everybody who do not come back to the Most High in Hamashiach Shai. No one. And we're going to be able to cast out demons. There was this Greek woman that had demons and her daughter and the Masik outside cast them out. So he did because she had faith. She was an Edomite, but she had faith. 
She wasn't here mocking and causing problems. She had faith and she had respect. And she had respect because the man of the Most High, the man of the Most High is t teaching his people and people, especially of another nation, are supposed to respect and have respect. 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 Decency. Decent and respect and love. Decent, but we know you don't love. You don't love. I, I know what you. I know what you do love, but it's not the right thing. Read. Read. Go to Daniel seven, twenty-five. Chapter seven, verse twenty-five. And he shall speak great words. Yes. Daniel chapter seven, verse eighteen. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Read that. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom right. under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven. This whole earth. How I get out of trouble. Read. Shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. That's right. Who you are, 12 tribes of Israel. You are the saints. Read. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Everlasting kingdom forever and ever. Read. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. All dominions shall serve and obey him. Because the kingdom is given to him. Read. And the two is the end of the matter. That's right. So with that, Shalom to the 12 tribes of Israel. Peace, love, and forever happiness. Death to the nations and servitude forever. Shalom. Shalom. But my question was, this is the sake of breaking the law. No, this part is for the heathen. This is for the heathen. No, 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 no. He said Gentiles. Right, the 